This is our garden from about like 10 feet away. I'm standing under the mulberry tree and the bottom. My husband put a lot of bush like this and he put up shade it. But you can hear that is the um, woodpecking. And here is his Japanese garden. You can see water weeping from the rock behind it, a plum tree, pretty flower in spring. And here is our weeping plum. The fruit is not ready yet, maybe another week or so. Lots and lots of fruit. When it's ripe, you can see it's better. And here, more. a lot of fruit there, and this one right here, the apricot, it had a lot of fruit this year under it, the pomegranate head, it grow from the seed, and pretty geisha girl bush in there, and this tree right here, my husband tried to trim it, in some certain shape here with the arc over there. Let's get closer. So here's this is apricot right here. And this one is almond. It doesn't have much fruit this year. Don't know why rain a lot, but it have much less than last year. And here's another pomegranate head. Take a closer look. This apricot, so pretty. Some pinkish, some yellow, golden. Is maybe a couple more days. It will be really, uh, it's really good. You can see how pretty the tree will be there. I can go the other way around to see it. You can see. And from here, you can see the oak, holy oak that we have right there. And you can see the orange tree all the way over there. This is the ome plum. The fruit is gone. I made cereal, so hopefully it tastes good. And this is our native California grapes. So pretty this year. I love it. When in the winter, it turned in uh, bright orange. It's really pretty. It looks really pretty. It grows a lot of fruits this year. Kind of sour. Right there, you can see the top fruit. And come over here, we have the Catalina plum. Didn't have much fruit this year. Last year, much more. This year, less. But you see how big the fruit? It's gonna turn into blue, deep blue, and then dark. And then ready to pick this one, maybe two more weeks. Then we can pick them. Our shade, purple, pretty. And over there is the black pine. And this one is the apricot. This one we grow from seed. Have a lot of fruit right here. Maybe it's ready next week. And here's another. Santa Rosa plum. It's really pretty. It's whole tree is purple. We hang some flashy ribbon here. This one really helped. Yesterday, the tree over there, it had a lot of fruit. And the squirrel took all of it. And then it started to attach this tree. So we hang some of this flashy ribbon right here 
so when the wind it blow it have some flashy light i think this the squirrel didn't like this so we still have it here today so hopefully it will be okay for us to pick on another day the fruit so pretty i love this the taste very delicious very good and pretty fruit and our orange grape orange grape orange right here we have a lot of fruit way too much it, it has some sour bitter taste in it but my neighbor make um, margarita and she squeezed in it and she made some seafood dish she said it's really good but whatever it's pretty on the peel this is the double delight nectarine really pretty fruit right now all that red but it's not ready to eat yet you can eat it now with uh, salt and pepper, that should be taste good. It's kind of sour, but it's really good. It can be maybe next week. And over here, I'm standing under the canopy of apricots. I have a lot of fruit this year. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see it's not ripe yet. So it's hard to see, but maybe two more weeks, you will see all yellow. Really pretty. And this is a keeper pear. It's still young. It's not ready until um, November. The fruit is very, very good, very delicious. And this year, because it's rained a lot, so you can see we have a lot of fruit everywhere, the whole tree. We hope it's holding it until November. This is our rose trellis, our rose garden. Pretty this year too. It smells really good. Blackberry get picked this morning. And we have this big container. This is our apricots and um, plum this year. A different one tree. You see how big the box would be and how big it the plum would be. Here's the second batch of our fruit. And see so how big the basket is with my hand. And the squirrel took another pile. This is our last batch of plum of this year. You see my hand right here. You can get that one. This is the floor. First time we got this many fruit this year. When it ripe, it tastes like Santa Rosa plum. And this is <laughs> how guard for the 